wonder why every job I've ever had involves me servicing customers. Wait, that came out wrong. So I used to work at the movie theater, and one time this guy came in that made me want to donkey punch him in the wiener. This is what happened. So this guy walks in with, I'm guessing, his dates, and he acts like he is Gretchen Wieners and his dad invented toaster strudel. He's standing there playing with his own hair like he's ready to roofie himself. This man's so arrogant, he acts like he's a three-course meal, when in reality, he's the stale cheese doodle that you lost in your couch six months ago. So I hear him talking to the girl, and he's like, listen, why don't you go in there, and you can find us some spots. I'll handle this. She's like, are you sure? And he's like, don't worry, I got this. While shaking his wallet in her face. And as soon as she leaves, he starts checking out other girls. Like, this dude acts like he shit-scented candles. He's like that one frat boy that always takes it too far. So he turns around and he looks through his wallet for a second. And then he turns back and he goes, listen, I'm not even that hungry. Which is code for, I can't afford this shit. Clearly, he didn't have as much money as he claimed. And he goes... I'm gonna need you to get me a medium popcorn, extra butter, and a medium drink. This guy acts like he takes penicillin as a vitamin supplement. So I get him his drink, and then I go over to get the popcorn, and I put some extra butter in it, and he goes, no, I want more. Okay? Put a little more. He goes, no, more. Calm the fuck down. Okay, put more. More. I'm like, sir, do you just want butter in a cup? So I go to give him the bag, finally, and it looks like a soggy diaper. Like, I have to hold it from the bottom, because it looks like it's gonna fall through. And in case you didn't know, the small and medium bags are normally made up of a piece of notebook paper and origami. So he takes this popcorn and goes on in there. And I'm like, wait, where did he get her a snack? So it's like a half hour later and I tried to forget about him. And this man comes waddling around the corner. And it looks like he shit one of those scented candles. Walking up like he got peanut butter in his cheeks. So he comes up to the front and I get a glimpse of him. And you can see a pile of wetness all over his pants. It looks like the girl he was with peed on him to mark her territory. Or maybe she did it because he didn't get her snacks. So he comes to the front and he goes, Do you see the butter on my pants? I'm like, yes, sir. People in fucking space can see that. So I'm looking at his pants and I realize, Oh, that must be why he wanted all that extra butter. Sir, you can't bang the popcorn. He's like, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm like, do you want a napkin, sir? Uh, there's the bathrooms right over there. And he's like, these are $70 pair of pants. I'm like, congratulations, sir. Do you still want that napkin? He's like, this is all your fault. I'm like, me? I'm sorry. Did you see me in that theater giving you a buttery lap dance or something? Like, who sticks a bag with that much butter in it on your lap? Like, honestly. He goes, you're paying for these. I think I pay for it enough by being a part of this conversation. I'm sorry, sir. Do you think I work in this movie theater because I'm bored of rolling around in money? I make minimum wage. I can't even afford the popcorn. I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, there's something I could do. You know, I could try to help you clean it up. But, and he's like, I'm not leaving until you take care of this. His roid rage was coming out. This man was getting loud. Like, he wanted to fight. I swear, if he could, I'm sure he would fight his feelings. And this guy's jumping around like he got a mouse in his pants. He was like, this is bullshit. You need to take care of this. And so I had to call my manager. Manager comes up. I explained to her what happened. And she's not having it either. She's like, I'm sorry, sir. Nothing I could do. She's like, no, you're taking care of this. And she's like, best I can do is look up some ways to get butter out of your jeans. And this douche canoe is freaking out. He's like, this is fucking ridiculous. Look at my pants. And he kept pointing at them as if we couldn't see them. I'm like, Taylor Swift's cats can see it, sir. We don't need a diagram. So he just keeps freaking out. And my boss is sitting there so calm, just looking up ways to get it out. And she's like, okay, well, you can do this and blah, 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 and this and that. And he's just like, I guess mommy and daddy cut him off. Realizing that nobody's gonna help him. Unfortunately, we can't do really anything. Because he asked for the extra butter. He put it on his lap. He asked for the medium bag. I would have went with the large. But all the popcorn bags are pretty much the same size anyway. Like, seriously. It's like literally a couple popcorn difference. Don't get me wrong. I'd be upset if something like that happened to me too. But unfortunately, it was your fault. And I would have nobody to blame but myself. So at this point, the guy looks like he's either gonna rip the counter off or cry and call mommy and daddy. He looked like if trust fund was a person. And eventually he's just like, this is bullshit. And he goes back into the movie theater with the girl that he left for fucking ever. The girl seemed like the whole movie by herself. And we just looked at each other like, what? Really? And in that moment, I realized that some people need a hug and some people need fight club. People are just too ridiculous.